What's your favorite um, Girl Scout cookie? So I actually used to be a Girl Scout, but mm-hmm. I haven't had the cookies in a while. Don't forget uh, you got your sunglasses on your head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sis. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Um, I think my favorite for when I used to have them. Now they changed the names of them too. So yeah, some of them are like no longer. They don't even. They used to be called the tree foils. I oh, think. Oh, this is the around. little the shortbread. Like, like yeah, the mm-hmm. shortbread. Yeah, those were my those were my um those were my favorites. Okay. What's your favorite? Those S- Samoas. Like, if it's not Samoas, I don't want it. I tree also, foils are cool, but I love the tree foils, and I also loved the ones that had like the lemon cream inside of. Yes. What, what, what were they called? Lemon. I think they were called lemon drops. No, they weren't always called lemon drops. It was called something else. It was always for me. It was always like the standard was Samoas, the tree foils, thin mints, mm-hmm. tag alongs. Thin mints. Yeah, thin mints are disgusting. Sorry. They are. Like, and then with tag alongs, dosi dos. Dosi dos were good. Is that the ones with the cream in them? The peanut butter. Oh. The peanut butter cookies. The peanut butter, whatever. And did they move some of the names around? No, the, some of them they just got rid of. There's this new one. I think it's like a raspberry something something. I kind of want to taste those. I'm intrigued. Next time I see some Girl Scouts. If y'all know of any Girl Scouts. They be in front of the Jason's Deli near my home. You know, one in my house. Word. Yeah, but I, I don't like. Cookie season's almost over. I don't like when they be in front of the stores like that. Why? Because it's like. We used to be there. Yeah, but I also hated doing it. Oh. Yeah, because like I actually am going to be the one to tell your child no. Oh, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I, I don't want to spend my money on this. Yeah. I'm actually here for a sandwich. Oh, yeah. I will literally, like, give them the girls. I'll be like, mm, and walk in the store. Like, oh, like, it makes me uncomfortable. I hate doing it. Oh. I hate doing it, but I do do it, but I still hate it. Yeah. I still hate it. I hate it a lot. Like, please don't put me in this situation. I just feel like. I hate it so Can't much. support all of them. It's like, look. No, you can't. First of all, the cookies don't went up a box. They are. Six dollars. Damn, for one box? Six dollars. I didn't know they were. Ex- I haven't had them in years. Matter of fact, I did. I, I'm pretty sure I ordered some from this for my mom from one of her parents. Yeah. I need to holla. Where are my cookies at? I haven't had them in years. Where I didn't. Cookies and shit. Oh. <laughs> wow. Rest in peace, Bernie Rest Mac. Rest in peace to Bernie Mac. That was a throwback. <laughs> where the cookies and shit? I think we can go ahead and start the show. <laughs> I think we can go ahead and start the show on that one. <laughs> wow. You really just. You really pulled that one out. Girl, let me tell you something. I really, will watch The Kings of Comedy any moment. I haven't watched it in years. Girl, that you is hear me? that is one of the most classic standards of all time. Fight oh, your for mama. Sure. For sure. Fight your mama. For sure, it is. <sighs> okay, Ooh. I'm good now. I'm your girl, Sierra T. And <laughs> your girl, Sherelle B. And this is it, Wraps and Lipsticks, the podcast. Oh, where we wrap the culture up in color. Yes, ma'am. We are wrapping hey. in color. Ooh, Ooh in a modern man. kind of world. Oh. You glad you got your girl. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck it up. <laughs> fuck it up. Period. Where the hood niggas at? Oh, You're right. foolish. Okay, I'm done. You are highly unserious right now. I'm done. I'm and done. I'm done. I cannot. I'm done. <laughs> Episode eight, I believe. Seven. No, I don't have time eight? for this, Sherelle. <laughs> it's eight. It's eight. It's eight. It's eight. Eight, 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 eight. eight, 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 eight. It is seven. No. No, you're right. It is eight. You're right. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Episode eight My in bad. the building. Who chow? This might be a we can listen. It's a heavy news day. Yeah. Kinda in, in a way. So we got there's a lot going on. For real. We're gonna jump right into it. Jump it. Sis. Mm-hmm. What can't you wrap your head around? Uh oh. I can't wrap my head around entitlement. Oh my. 
So I saw this black girl was really mad that she met Anthony Mackie. Oh, and when I say met. They be, y'all been tearing her ass apart. And rightfully so. Okay. I didn't even watch the whole video because I was like, I don't want to hear this. Girl, she claims she was at a gas station in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Anthony Mackie pulled up, had a big truck, was like had his music blasting windows down, smoking a cigar. Very specific. And she wanted to go up to him and speak. And before she can get up there, she said he did one of these. Like, he's just... Mm. Ooh! <laughs> oh, that's why she mad. Yeah. That's why she mad. And when I say sis was livid, like, he is the rudest. Woo, 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 woo. And I just can't wrap my head around this entitlement. So, okay, mm. hear me out. Oh, I'm listening. I'm hearing you. First of all, with Anthony Mackie, this is, I don't know, maybe the eighth video of somebody saying that he really does not like to be bothered in public. If he won't let a little kid take a picture of him. That's rough. What makes you think at a gas station, you as a grown-ass woman, he gonna let you slide? Okay, to be fair, I didn't know that Anthony Mackie didn't like people coming up to him. Yeah. That, had, this was news to me. Oh, he had, this is maybe, like I said, this is literally maybe like the seventh or eighth video of somebody like, yeah, he didn't let me take a picture with him and Anthony Mackie be like, okay, now what happens? Wow. You know? And I just feel like, honestly, there's, you, you thought you ate, Mm -hmm. But again, there's a lot of videos saying that Anthony Mackie is not that guy like that. And at the end of the day, what if he just got some bad news? What if he was on his, what if he was late yeah. and, you know, really yeah. don't got time for that? I just really feel like, do you want random people just coming up to you while you're trying to pump gas? I know I don't. No. You get what I mean? Yeah. So, and, and they had the nerve to be like, well, then you don't need to have your windows. Ma'am. Wow. Man. Oh, wait, she walked up to him while he was still in his car? No, like, he was literally pumping gas. Yeah. And she, like, I guess he, in her, in, in his peripheral. Yeah. And he was like, you know, not, no. Damn. You know, I can um, understand if he was like, get the f out of here. But if he just subtly said, I really don't want to make it hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, and went about his business, I just don't, I just don't understand why you're so mad. I don't like when people do that. I remember when they tried to do that to Amari Hardway. This lady was like, he was so rude. And he was like, or I just really didn't want to be bothered. I'm spending time with my family. And no, like, thank you. You're a fan. Okay, now what happens? What happens now? I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't really don't think celebrities should be ridiculed yeah. for not being welcoming yeah. at a time. Because they are people. Like I said, he. What if, you know, what if he was late to go to his mama house? What if he was late on set? What if he was mad that gas prices are going up? I don't know. Yes and no. Mm. It's like, I hear you, but like, you are also a celebrity. And so I, you have to take that into consideration when you're out in the public and you are alone without security that people are going to want to come up to you and ask for an autograph or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I get both. I mean, I can understand her being upset. Yeah. Y'all, the, the black community have been uh, laying into her ass all day. They really have. You know, really been letting this poor girl have it. Um, but I don't I don't know. Like, you're someone as big as Anthony Mackie, who's been in, like, most of the Marvel movies and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, dog. I guess I can only, like, I guess I'm only defending Anthony Mackie because, mm -hmm. again, this is video number eight. Got it. That's fair. See, yeah. like, I, did, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. But he, I also don't, I'm, if I saw Anthony Mackie in public, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be pressed to be talked to him either. And that's, you, okay. <laughs> so let's get to the creme de la creme. Right. That's not, no, that's not a, you know, a press against Anthony Mackie. Yeah, like, we no. appreciate your work. Yeah. That's great. But, like, you know. Loved you as Tupac. The, Thank you. You know, loved you when she hate me. You know, we loved you in Marvel. That's great. But like, all right, cool. The man don't want to be bothered. Leave yeah. the man alone. Right, yeah. And you getting on the internet like that's going to make it better. Yeah. If he, if he told an eight-year-old, yeah, nah, I'm good, kid. That's crazy. Who you think you is? That's crazy. That's all I got to say about that. Wow. Okay. Wow. He told the eight-year-old boy and his grandmother came at him and was like, how dare you? And he was like, I don't, I don't really, I said what I said. Damn. So. And still didn't give him the autograph. Like, thanks for watching Marvel. Appreciate you. Next. What we going to do about it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can get with... I mean, <laughs> I really don't know if I can get with this right now. I, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I just... I don't know. As someone who's... Listen, I'm nowhere as big as Anthony Mackie, mm -hmm. right? But as someone who is forward-facing and is on social media, I could never imagine... Yeah. You know, someone coming up to me and saying, oh, my God, I love your content or whatever. I'm like, okay, girl, we didn't get the fuck mm. on. Like, I could never imagine to see myself doing that. 
But that's just me. Like, I treat people how I would want to be treated. I feel that. And if someone came up to me and was like, can I take a picture with you? Of course you can. Like, I feel that. You know, so I don't know. I Unless just... I'm looking busted. Like, um, why are you... You, you want me to take a picture right now? Right. Oh, my God. Come on now. So, you see me with the bonnet on? <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on now. So, we can talk, but like, nah. Dang. Don't tell me what you mean. Poor, poor thing. But anyway, what about you? What could you wrap your head around? Oh, my God. Okay. Uh-oh. I finally see why my fellow black sisters with straight hair who don't, you know, who go to hairstylists are upset about these prices. Oh, do tell. So, I... So my hair, I'm a little bit frustrated because I'm like, I want to I wanna find like a real loctician, someone who is yes. licensed, you know, because I might need some help here and there, Fact. you know, on certain things because I've been maintaining my hair on my own these mm-hmm. last three years. So I go to this lady, this, this, this young girl. She's nice. I don't have any problems with her or mm-hmm. whatever. But, um, you know, I was talking to Naomi and her mom is a, a professional hairstylist or whatever. Oh, nice. Right, exactly. And I was telling you know, Naomi like the whole process of what it's like because she doesn't have to go to mm. a, a, like a, a define someone. Like she can just go to her mom to do her hair. And I was telling Naomi about the whole process, how like you have to pay for a consultation. You have to go to them. You have to, you may, you, um, and then the prices are crazy. The, this girl was charging $150 just for me to retwist it, not even style it. Is that market price? I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. And this is like, I understand charging your worth and I understand prices because you gotta have, you gotta be able to pay for your, like your location and yeah. you know, all of that yeah. b- booth rent or whatever. Yeah. But I also, but I'm also not okay with charging prices so high that it's almost crazy. Oh, uh, for sure. You charging me one twenty five, one fifty just to retwist my hair is crazy. Right. Like I feel like. How long does it take to normally like retwist hair? Well, because if I'm doing it myself, because I haven't had I haven't had my hair retwisted. Oh, uh, professionally. I've, exactly. I've done it all uh, myself, and now you. I'm like I think I'm gonna just keep doing it myself yeah. because I feel like. I, I could just I could just do it myself, mm. but I'm I you know like before I had locks like I would go to like people like specialists or whatever like hairstylists and it's like that has to be frustrating especially if you are trying to learn how to do your own hair yeah but you just can't seem to get the grip of it or you know you just you just like like mm-hmm. for me like I don't know how to braid I don't know how to cornrow right. and I would love to but I. I don't know, like this, I don't know, this feels really weird to me, like in a sense that it's like, damn, like, why are so many hairstylists, whether they do, you know, straight hair or locked hair, charging so much, like, that's crazy to me. I feel like, I have this conversation with my mom all the time, Mm because she really is still living in 1996 Mm -hmm. or whatever, where she thinks that haircut's only supposed to be $10. Oh yeah, that ain't ain't it either. Fillin's only supposed to be 15 with free airbrush, whatever. Right. And I be having to tell her, I feel like sometimes... I'm with you. Mm-hmm. I really am. And I guess that's like the beauty of like when you find a good hairstylist, what up, Candy? Mm-hmm. Um, like kind of stick with it. Like, yeah. you know, when they're not like price gouging OD. Yeah. Now, it's one thing if it's like, I guess to your point, if you're like a specialist mm-hmm. and it's like, all right, I know I'm like the, the price of products that I use to do right. this hair is going up. But like Simone was telling me about she wanted to get um, a wig put on for something. Mm-hmm. And like, so you want me to bring, so I got, I got to buy the wig. Yes. I got to bring you the wig. Mm-hmm. And then you want to charge me $400. So just to put the wig on? Just to put the wig on. So that includes a braid down. And, and I've watched wig and soul videos and it just, it's, it looks very strenuous. It, it does. It looks too much. It's it does. way too much. But, and in my mind, I'm like, I mean, is that market Wait, the, value? Did, does she wash the hair, blow it out, then braid it No, down? no. Simone, like Simone, or I guess whoever. Right. Would like, yeah, wash their own hair. But even if I do, like, if you're just washing and conditioning my hair, like, okay. Then what the fuck am I paying you $400 just to put know. a wig on my head? You already know how I feel with braiders. Like, it's like, you want to charge $400, $450 for, like, medium knotless braids and then want me to bring the hair and then be having the nerve to tell me what type of brand to get. Mm-hmm. Oh, I only work with expression. Right. Or you going to work with what I give you. Right. Like, point blank, period. Like, oh, you only bought four <clears throat> pads. You really should have got five. Well, then you, if you want a specific brand of hair, then you need to become a brand ambassador yeah oh, for real for real okay because ain't nobody no you're gonna get what i get i'm not paying 47 dollars for a pack of hair just that's, that's bogus you know what i'm saying per hair and then you'd be like yeah you need to have at least four packs what do you mean that's yeah see i got hair like, left over in my car right now that's why <laughs> bro i got a bin full of uh, braiding hair i'm like i don't even use braiding Craziness. hair anymore 
But like, yeah, that that's what I can't wrap my head around. I'm like, this is really crazy. And so now I'm just like, shit, maybe I should just start my own loctician thing because maybe I should go get a cosmetology license real quick. I mean, Spelman does have a new thing now. Spelman College is offering that now. Listen, I mean, I wouldn't be upcharging like... Maybe you just go for like special occasions. Yeah. Like, like weddings. Yeah. But I get it. Mm. Like y'all are... What if you in a wedding every month? That's crazy. Ooh, child. That's a lot. Oh my God. That's a lot. That is a lot. Child. Niggas, know. niggas do be getting married. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm. Woo. Anyway, yeah. That's that's it. That's all. I just couldn't... I just was like, this is crazy. Well, if you're in Charlotte, in the Charlotte area, like if you know an affordable, affordable lactation for my sis, drop them below. Please, I'm begging because you know. what the hell? Yeah, because it's it is it is getting crazy out here. Yeah. I ain't gonna front. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. And then we'll move on. Yeah, me and Simone literally were just having this conversation the other day. We were talking about my mom, which we when my mom brings up hair and nails. <laughs> The same way with my mom. I, I, I don't know. I don't like, okay, call me John Cena. I don't even know what you're oh talking about. Oh my God. I can't see you. And, <laughs> and, and like, we were saying, like, I feel like, because she complains about the price and stuff, and I get it, but it's like, look, either you're willing to sacrifice getting your nails and hair not done mm-hmm. or suck it up. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, mm, your, your nail tech charge, such and such. My nail tech is quality. Yeah. I don't never had no problem with her. I only go to her once. A month, every month and a half. Right. So okay. Right. You know. What yeah. I'm you also gotta figure out like what are you willing to pay for it? And I one fifty for just to retwist my hair. I can do that myself. Yeah, that's kind of wild. Wild. If it was like a retwist and a style, maybe. Then I'd be like, like maybe. Okay. Also, oh, it wasn't even including a style. No. Oh yeah. No. F. It but it did include a wash and sh- a shampoo or whatever. That's still kind of wild. And that's it. F. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shampoo and a twist, one fifty. I don't like it. Smoking crack. Yeah. Literally anyway. through a pipe. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, what we got on the list? <laughs> well, we about to do bust some ballads. Boop, 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 uh, boop. We're still in the, the M state. And realize it was a lot of M's. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of M's. So this week we're doing Michigan, huh? <laughs> Michigan, Minnesota, <laughs> and Mississippi. Okay. And I think there's a, there's more M states. So let's see. We did that's that's a lot of M states in America. You the person who know all the the geography stuff. Something is after Mississippi, oh. and I can't. Anyways, we'll tell you next week. So, but we're going to run through these because when I say the hot topics that we got kind of take precedence, yes, right? Yes, yes. So, we're going to stick with Michigan. Michigan has some different bills mm-hmm. on the ballot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just going to run right through them. Okay. And they're they're not all bad. They're mm-hmm. kind of like, huh. Okay. All right. So, this is a cybersecurity defense for state universities. Oh. Um, the status, it was just introduced to Senate. It hasn't been passed. hasn't been discussed yet. So this is a new bill, um, a Democratic bill, that was introduced to implement a cybersecurity defense team and update security operations for public oops, for public universities in Michigan. Okay. And this is all in response to the cyber cyber threats, um, like in August 2023, that they had at the University of Michigan. Mm. An unauthorized third party gained access to personal information of campus community members. Similar to what we were talking about, what was that, Alabama A&M? Uh... With, the, uh, with the tax... We told that a couple weeks ago. Taxing the students? No, that was... Was that Alabama a No, that was in Delaware, wasn't it? Mm-mm. Okay. We, it was in Alabama maybe, somewhere. Maybe, okay. But uh-huh. anyways, mm-hmm. that's one thing that Michigan is trying to do. Mm-hmm. The next thing, I thought this was kind of interesting. Okay. Okay. They're providing aid for students with dyslexia. Wow. Right? I Love thought that was that. also introduced to the Senate. It has been voted on. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. They have voted to update two proposed bills, Senate Bill 567 and mm-hmm. 568, okay. that will help students with disabilities achieve maximum literacy. This was actually introduced originally in October of 2023. Mm-hmm. So um, this will like mandate schools. Um, okay. Who edited this? This says asses. <gasps> Literally says asses. Assess. Okay. That's Michigan what... Daily. Mm-hmm. Get an editor. All oh, right. Oh, man. This mandate that the school assess all students for signs of dyslexia. Wait. Damn. Is it giving you dyslexia? Wait, pause. Yeah, wait a minute. It's mandating. This is Senate Bill 567. Mm-hmm. That students assess all. Okay. Schools assess all students for signs of dyslexia and language decoding challenges. Okay. It could probably could have been worded better. But I'm wondering, like, are you going to... Uh, Wait. This is going to get a lot of pushback from parents. Mandates that schools assess all students for science. All students. Yeah. You think that's going to be... I um, do. I think... And these parents are not our parents anymore. These new parents... Nothing's wrong with my child. Da-da-da-da, don't touch... 
I think, I don't know. I think it's great though. I do. Because there are a lot of people who are dyslexic. I, listen, and then they don't find out until they're 38. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Um, hmm. And then all public schools? It doesn't say. Okay. It doesn't say, but that's a good question. Like, mm. you know, because then like that will kind of maybe take people out of, if it's just public schools, it's like, well, if I don't want my student to be tex- uh, he's, tested, he's, I'm going to take them to a private school. So Bill 568 imposes more rigorous requirements on teacher preparation programs and effective strategies for assisting students with dyslexia. This I like. Does that come with more money for the teachers? Oh. I'm just saying, we, if we're doing rigorous training, I need a rigorous raise. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm where the, where my money? <laughs> where my money at? <laughs> I'm just sort of okay, God. it's not my fault these kids got dyslexia. Okay, like, all right. right. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I actually kind of like that one, though. It's not bad. I get it. I get the need for it. It's definitely necessary because hmm. kids do be out here dyslexic. To, you know, the letters be jumping up on a page and doing backflips for them. Okay. You know, Listen. seriously. So one, I like it. One that has already been passed by the house. This is foster youth protection in school. Hmm. Um, in school. This has been passed by the House. House Bill 4677 will protect foster care children while increasing their access to high quality education. Hmm. How will it how will it protect them? So this is going to mandate. So the bill is going to mandate the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, Mm -hmm. the Department of Education and the Center of Educational Performance and Information Mm -hmm. to compile a yearly report detailing data on foster children's educational records. This mandated report would include information such as the number of foster children suspended or expelled during the academic year and those identified by chronic absenteeism or truancy. I mean, um, a lot of these bills are addressing things that are important, but they're not getting to the root of the issues because you need to make sure that if a, if a child is in a foster, is in a foster home, but they're not getting the proper nutrition, of course they're going to fail tests or whatever. Yeah. they're not going to be able to focus during the day, during class and whatnot. Um, so, and this is our, it's already been passed. So I'm like, I mean, that, that doesn't mean that they can't go back and mm-hmm. kind of revise it, right. but I agree with you wholeheartedly. Like there has to be, there has to be that. I think that's just like, mm-hmm. like you said, that's just the seed. Yeah. Okay. But where are the resources, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. Like, are you talking, are we talking about behavioral issues? Are we looking at mm-hmm. assessing the home that they're in? How many times has this kid been bounced around from foster home to foster home? Right. What type of foster homes? Do they come from different states? It seems like a lot so far, like every time we do a bus and ballast thing, that, that's the big issue is resources. Yeah. No one's addressing resources. Because they don't want to pay for it. Oh, shit. Well. They don't want to pay for it. I mean, because it's like. Anyway, I mean, you can, oh yeah, we need to do this. I mean, that's great. I think that that's a good start, but like once it's implemented and then it's like, and this is what happens with legislation. It's like once it's implemented, then you see the problem. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh wait, we got to pull back. Right. Hold, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Because it could start with, well, all foster students get free lunch or free breakfast or something like that. Yeah, true. You know, Mm -hmm. having a meal will be able to. Maybe make sure that these kids can sit down and focus correctly during it. It might be as something as small as having access to meals. Free tutoring. Free you know tutoring what I'm or something, something like that. You know, it's not so much that I don't think all of them have, you know, bad behavior. Yeah. They're like, obviously, if you're in a bad home and the the people, the parents are neglectful, then you're right. obviously like, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, you know, making sure that they at least be fed. But, you know, you got, you got, you got to pay for school lunch now in high school or something like, like. Oh, I always had to pay. Of, I had to pay for my lunch too. That's crazy to me. Did you, you have to pay for yes, high school lunch? Yes, and that was crazy yeah. to me too. Yeah. 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 And back then it was like, you know, I mean, my, my dad be like, you broke your lunch. I'm like, um, mm-hmm. it's pizza day. Like, yeah. No. But now she. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's wild. Yeah. It's very wild. Well, Michigan, you're, you're doing. You're in the right direction. Yeah, we like you know, but maybe we just kind of pause and go back to the drawing board. Yeah, let's let's get a page two. Yep, and see what we can do there. But mm-hmm. you know, you're doing a lot better than other states. I will say this. Yes, you focusing are. Focusing on especially kids and their education. Oof. So that's great. Mm. We're gonna move on next to them actually. Yeah. To Minnesota, mm. right? So Minnesota just advanced a bill to require health plans to cover gender affirming care. Wow. This is pretty big for Minnesota, right? Okay. Okay. So, um, 
Representative Leah Fink believes gender affirming health care is medically necessary health care mm -hmm. and therefore must be covered by health insurance policies. Mm -hmm. OK, um, however, the mandate she referenced comes uh, comes about not through text and state law, but rather official positions issued by the Department of Health and other agencies stating that health care providers cannot mm -hmm. discriminate against patients based on sex and gender Identif uh, ident blah, identity. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just say there because I'm mm -hmm. not sure uh, the gender of this this representative. Okay. The bank the 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 bank what? <laughs> The bill actually clarifies that no health plan that covers physical or mental health re services mm. may be offered, sold, issued, or renewed in a state that excludes coverage for medical necessary gender affirming care. Oh, I wow. mean, I don't see a problem. So that would include abortion. Mm. Let me see something. That's what gender affirming care is? No. So, okay. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know if this is like the actual definition when it comes to all states or just Minnesota. So it's okay. saying gender affirming health care encompasses a range of social and medical interventions to affirm someone's internal gender identity, including puberty blockers, cross sex hormones, permanent hair removal, voice therapy and surgical inter oh, surgical interventions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to get an abortion because of, you know. Yeah, because I'm wondering, you know, God forbid, yeah. you know, a, like a transgender man is raped or something like that. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. I like it. I kind of want to like. But I do wonder if it includes, you know, abortions. Yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't. It doesn't say. Of course, there was a Republican representative on the other side of town that he unsuccessfully offered an amendment that would have made reversal of prior gender affirming procedure or treatment a medically necessary gender affirming procedure or treatment. Wait, repeat that one more time. He failed to add an amendment that would make that would have made reversal of a prior gender affirming procedure oh. or treatment basically identified as medically. Um, so if I get, medically necessary, so if, if I was to like get, if I was to get like, if I want to be a trans man and mm -hmm. I say, I want to go back and be a woman, they were like, yeah. no. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Um, damn. Yeah. Interesting. Minnesota. I'm kind of, I am curious about the abortion and how they would like kind of play that. I mean, that's gender affirming care. Even if you, even so much as like a, a, a ectopic pregnancy, mm. I can never say that word. Ectopic. Ecto yep. That, mm -hmm. that type of pregnancy. Yeah. I had to explain to my dad what that was. Mm -hmm. Like we were talking about something and he was like, what is that? What is an atopic mm -hmm. pregnancy? Mm -hmm. I literally had to tell him. Um, and he was like, Oh yeah. You know, like, cause I was, I have a friend who just had a procedure, um, you know, that will kind of not make it difficult for them to have a baby, mm -hmm. but IVF will be like a really great. Yeah. And she was telling me that the reason she had to get the procedure, cause if she did get pregnant the old natural way, she mm -hmm. kind of risked having an atopic pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, yep. so shout outs to my dad and just men who asked those questions instead of just being like, well, you know, you can get pregnant mm -hmm. the old fashioned way. Like, Do you ever see that clip of, not it wasn't a clip, but I saw a video of a lady who thought she had a tumor and it was a, a, a um, a baby that, an old baby that had calcified on her uterus. I'm sorry. And they had the x-ray showing. And when I say it was bizarre. Yeah. She had, like, she had had like a miscarriage. And so she thought it was a tumor, but the baby's bones had calcified into her bones. When I tell y'all, it was bizarre. And the baby? Oh, the baby's dead. Baby dead. But it, the, wait, what? The, 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 like, it calcified. It, what does that mean? Like, hardened. The bones of the baby? Mm-hmm. If I can find it, I will put it on the screen for y'all. I saw it, like, a couple days know. ago. Yes. I don't know if I want to see that. What it's, the fuck? It, it looked crazy. I saw it on TikTok. And it had the actual had the X-ray, the three D X-ray. And I was like, and you could see it like right, you know, when you can see the skeleton of the body, and then just, and you and you see like the pelvis area, and you could see this calcified actual baby, oh, the bones of the baby. Oh, I don't wanna, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Pregnancy really be be fucking us up, y'all. For the for the for the men's in the and the uh, government be like. Bloop. You gotta, you can't have a boy. Like, right, so even... if your girl wants pickles at three o'clock in the morning, go fucking get them. <laughs> Shit. Piss me off.
Yes, yeah, she wants sardines and ice cream. Go get it. Ooh, child, that is a hell of a craving. Go get it. Make sure you get some toilet paper while you out, too. Make sure you get toilet paper. <sighs> Last on the Bustin' Ballads list mm -hmm. is Mississippi. And I know what y'all probably are thinking. Ooh, child. Mississippi, right. <laughs> <laughs> probably going to be on some, you know, some, some mess. But the opposite. They actually just signed a bill that will create Tuskegee Airmen Day in the state. Okay. I told you it was going to be a good okay. one, right? Um, Mississippi Governor, Ron, I'm sorry, Tate Reeves, mm -hmm. you know, the one that got rid of everything, you mm -hmm. know, abortion, DEI, everything. He actually signed a bipartisan bill wow. honoring the fourth Thursday in March every year as C Tuskegee Airmen Day. This is great. That's nice. Um, so the, he signed the bill on March 19th um, at the Gul Gulfport, Mississippi Aviation Heritage Museum. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is... I um, love that. Yeah, unanimous vote, 121 to oh, zero. Oh, wow, unanimous. I mean, cause like, why, why would you vote against that? Is that causing you any money? Is that causing you anything? I don't know. Remember when, when Georgia, when them people was voting for the lynching bill? Is that still a thing? Oh, yeah. So... I'm just saying. Because I'm like, why would you vote against it? Yeah. Like, oh, I don't, I don't know. That's nice though. I like that. Yeah. You should definitely be rec recognizing them for sure. I love that. This is really great. Um, I love that. I don't really have much else to say about that, but just know that the third, I'm sorry, the fourth Thursday, every March from here on out will be known as Tuskegee Airmen Day um, in the state of Mississippi. They but should, you know what? We can honor it wherever we want because they flew all over the place. So. They should make it a federal holiday. Hmm. I mean, we just got Juneteenth like three years ago. Yeah, I'm still not off. But anyway. Um, oh, I am. You know. Shout out to my job. <sighs> well. Th thanks for something. That's it for Bustin' Bellas. I don't know. Right. Mississippi kind of shocked you, didn't it? Yeah, I bet they got some crazy ass shit coming up, though. Honest, I mean, okay, I'm going to be honest. When I was doing some, re I saw some stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? How do I want to go about this? Okay. It's too much. We just stay there. We're going to take it easy. We're taking it easy today. Take it easy. Yeah. Mississippi will give you a break. For now. now. For now. For now. Okay. Yeah. So. For that's now. That's all. Mm-hmm. All <sighs> right. All right. We're getting into the meat and potatoes of it all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We only have one political hot take, um, and unfortunately, this is coming out of the state of North Carolina. Oh, my God. I hate this for us, but mm -hmm. hey. So, a federal bill is actually opposing DEI efforts in medical schools. So if you have not been paying attention, um, and you should have because you watch us every week, yeah. all the DEI efforts, initiatives in numerous states have are under attack. Kansas, Kentucky, Florida, um, Texas, they're all over the place. And now in North Carolina, this one Republican senator is like, well, okay, we don't want to talk about public, uh, public university. We want to talk about medical schools. We don't, need enough, we don't need any more minority doctors. Basically, that's what he's trying to say. Okay? What? That's basically what he's trying to say. So... Um, Rep uh, Republican U.S. Go Representative Greg Murphy is sponsoring the Educate Act, which would cut off federal funding to medical schools that promote diversity, equity, and inclusion, or even have an office of diversity and equity. So the Black Student Union, you can forget about it, okay? Um, it actually would apply to federal student loans as well as research grants. Federal student loans? And research grants. I'm trying to research some stuff to make the world a healthier place, but because I'm a minority or diversity, you don't want it to happen, okay? So this would actually likely affect North Carolina's four largest medical schools, the University of North Carolina, Duke University, East Carolina University, and Wake Forest, all which have what type of diversity? I'm shocked North Carolina, uh, Chapel Hill still got one. I mean, how's that? How is that happening? <laughs> this is y'all fault. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> this is y'all fault. I'm just, I'm so confused here. <laughs> you feel me? How the hell they still got a DI office? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm so confused here right now. Anyway, nonetheless. Okay. So Murphy actually accused medical schools of lowering their entry standards. Get I want y'all to hear this. I want y'all to hear this. I want y'all to hear this. He accused medical schools of lowering their entry standards to increase minority student enrollments while refusing to admit many qualified white students. And I quote, he's also, actually, he's also a urologist. So anybody that got an appointment with him, you might want to cancel that. Dead, but anyway, dead. 
Imagine you're a patient and you're looking up and tomorrow you're having a chest. Wait, hold on. Imagine you're the patient and you're looking up and tomorrow you're having your chest cut open because you're going to have a bypass. Who do you want as your doctor? Someone who is skillful or someone who got into medical school because of identity politics. So basically, in layman's terms, Representative Mercy, M Murphy, basically what he's saying is that, do you want to look up and see a diverse person cutting you open? Even though they had, I mean, they had the grades to get into school and everything like that. Or do you want to know for a fact that this white doctor that's getting ready to cut you open, you know, for a fact that he, you know, got the grades to do this. That's basically what he's saying. Okay. I follow this channel on TikTok called by this guy named Ray William Johnson, and mm -hmm. he talks about all these crazy stories. Many times out of ten, it's always a story about a white doctor doing some wild shit. Mm -hmm. One specific one specific story stood out to me that I remember was this white doctor was going around killing patients, mm. injecting them with like um, I forget the name of the drugs, but they was killing them, and he kept jumping from hospital to hospital. He ended up killing over 133 patients within 15 years. I think there's a documentary on this guy, and no one questioned him because he was a white guy. I just think that this is like when I heard this on the news early this week. Wow. I literally had to like ask, ask Brandon, I like my neck started hurting. I was like, are you fucking serious? Mm -hmm. So you actually are accusing school. So basically what you're saying is that nobody outside of white medical students can get the grades to get into these schools. Mm -hmm. But I want to say this. I want to, I want to say this and I want to say it loud and clear mm -hmm. to anybody watching us that is considering going to medical school. With all this stuff like that, if I don't hear about enrollment at Morehouse and Spelman and mm. Howard and uh, Florida A&M going up, you're part of the problem. I understand that, like, yes, the four top medical schools in North Carolina, mm -hmm. those are like the Ivy Leagues in North Carolina. I understand. But when you have people that are making laws mm -hmm. to potentially push you out of an opportunity because they don't think you're good enough. That's some crazy shit. There are too many other doors welcoming you yeah. with open arms. And I'm not saying you have to go to HBCU, but I'm just saying like, if your goal is to go to Duke university and you look like me or you're a Hispanic or you're an, an Asian American mm -hmm. or a, um, an indigenous American, anything like that, please think elsewhere. Please think to go somewhere else, please. Go to the school in the Bronx that that lady just paid Hell tuition Hell yeah, they, they tuition free forever. Okay, I'm about to apply my damn self. Listen. Just to prove Gov uh, Representative Murphy wrong, because this is just wrong. Mm -hmm. For you to, and I'm, I'm very curious, I kind of want to look it up to see who is who else is uh, co-sponsoring this bill. Mm -hmm. Because for you to be a urologist, I can imagine if he had other doctors in his practice. What does urology do again? You know what? It's weird, because like, I have family members that have a urologist. Oh, and I let still, me Google. Let me Google it right quick. Google. I can just imagine other doctors that may have worked with this guy, patients. So this is so. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. So you don't you don't think that diversity students are good enough to go to medical school? So does that mean like are you good enough to even like have a, a, a diversity person as a patient? Mm. Urology, also known as such and such, is the branch of medicine that focuses on surgical and medical diseases of the urinary tract. Oh, okay of the urinary tract system and the reproductive organs. Oh, so like basically, okay, so men. Like, like with kid, your kidneys, are ad adrenal glands, ut uterus, urinary bladder, urethra, and the male reproductive organs. Oh, yes. okay. Oh, mm. yeah. I just really thought that this was disgusting, and I really pray, North Carolina lawmakers, if you're watching this, anything like, please don't sponsor this bill. You know, it's really hard to find a black doctor. Girl. My OBGYN before he retired was this older black man who I loved because mm -hmm. he knew his shit. Mm -hmm. I cried when he told me that he was retiring. Damn. Because I had never had gotten the care before I needed where someone understood what was going on with my body because of like, you know, certain situations yeah. that black people deal with that other people don't. And I was so sad, devastated that he was retiring. And it's like, I have been trying to find another black doctor for a long time. I mean, I found some other 
I found a, a South e- um, South Asian doctor. I like her. Mm-hmm. She's nice. But it's like, I mean, you, you, you can go and type, type in, you could go into my Carolinas or whatever. You'll be looking for days. Oh, my gosh. Looking for a black doctor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It really is. It really is sad. Yeah. This it, is the last quote that he said. He said, because first he said, He's not pushing for fewer minority medical students. He said the country needs more doctors, not fewer. So he suggested medical schools could expand their class size to admit a greater number of all qualified students instead. So he said, we want the physician population to mirror what we have in the country, which is divert. Listen, he literally doesn't th- listen. He don't think that black and brown people That's- are smart enough to, to get in these classes. This is really... to, to to make make these uh to, to be in here. Wow, I mean, I really have to keep asking my Asian American brothers and sisters. Was it worth it? Was it fucking worth it? Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Now you in the back of the line with us. So nice to see you here. Good. Get to the back. Yeah, I don't. Mm, this is just. Was it worth it? I really was like when I heard that in the news. I was like, Are you kidding me? But here we are. <laughs> Was it worth it? Um, I need to know. Stand up. Stand up. This is ridiculous. Well, <sighs> that's it for politics. Jesus we we kept Christ. it real medium light. Medium, I guess. That just pissed me the hell off. I, I knew it would. Like, because I, and it should. I feel like I feel like every American should be mad at this. Because everybody goes to a doctor. Yeah. Once in their life, at least. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You should be concerned with this having having another medical professional saying, "Well, yeah, they're no, oh, you're black and you went to Chapel Hill." I only want black people cutting into me. <laughs> I mean, it's craziness. <laughs> this is a colors only body. <laughs> this, like, I only want colors cutting into me from now on. Okay, brown, black, and yellow, orange, green, no whites. Blues, reds, nothing. Purples, magenta, teal, periwinkles. Orange. Did you say orange already? I did say orange. Okay. That's it for political hot topics. We did forget to tell you, make sure that you're going to ballotpedia.org. Correct. Um, we are seven months away from an election. Too damn close. Um, <laughs> and we need people like uh, Representative Murphy out of here. I don't know if he's up for re-election or anything like that, but like... If he is, he got to go. He's got to go. He got to go. So add him to the list. Add him to the list. Okay. So make sure you're going to ballotpedia.org and educate yourself. Mm-hmm. Please. Please. We are literally begging please. at this point. Please. Like, please. I can't. I don't know what else to say. Ciao. <sighs> oh, my God. Moving on up to the east side, literally. Oh, my God. Um, We got two things we're going to tackle before we get to the meat and potatoes. Okay. Um, in Manhattan, uh, white women are getting punched in the face. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. Um, sis dropped the tea, and it's so funny. While we were like kind of in production, we were watching Inside Edition. Yes, I watch Inside Edition sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and they were talking about these white women that are just getting punched in Manhattan on a random. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. So the New York Post posted this. Um, a series of women have posted alarming TikTok reports about being randomly punched by a stranger while walking in New York, including at least two daylight attacks reported to cops this week. Um, Haley Kate, an, an influencer who has 1.1 million followers on the platform, posted a video on Monday after one attack being investigated by the NYPD, saying it caused her to fall to the ground and black out. Um, and there have been follow-up videos. I've seen like six or seven of them at this point Child. today. And so I don't know if this is, you know what it sounds like to me. Okay, I'm gonna let me, I'm finished. Mm-hmm. So like the main, like the main points in this story are that's happening in the Manhattan area mm-hmm. that most of the women are walking and looking down at their phone oh. while walking. Um, and then whoever is punching them is using things like, excuse me, or saying like, I'm sorry. And then like, just going at it. Going at it. Now, to me, it sounds like this is some like type of like initiative thing. You know how it'd be like weird like gangs or stuff like yeah. that. Like, you gotta do this to Oh, to... like an initiation? Yeah. Oh, mate. 
I don't only because I'm thinking like in the neighborhood. I think they said it was like the Soho neighborhood. Yeah, that would be that's some new gang stuff to yeah, go around yeah. and punch white women in the face. It's not funny to join the Bloods or some shit. Like, it, it's not funny. That is that is insane. But the 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 common denominator that Sis and I found was that none of them fought back. Nobody. Nobody fought back. Nobody fought back. Like, one girl said that she literally saw the man point fingers at her like a gun. Yes. And you continued to walk past him? And then he, like, she said he hit her with a bag of something in the face. Yeah, so, like, as soon as you do this to me, I'm, like, I'm out of here. I don't need to cross the street that bad. I'll cross it from down the block. Manhattan blocks are very long. I have a question. What's your question? Do you think that... Because white people are so used to just walking around and feeling mm. safe everywhere mm -hmm. that they are a target. Oh, for sure. Interesting. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm not even gonna say it's white people. I just think people have this weird sense of comfortability. I ain't gonna front like I see people all the time. Like it must be nice. I mean, now white people definitely. I'll be like, oh, it must be nice to go jogging at nine thirty at night. Yo, like. Must be real nice, okay? Like, or even to go jogging at 10 o'clock in the morning, rest in peace, Ahmaud Arbery. But like, you know, but I also see other people. I see us just, you just out here frivolous. Like, you just living a life. Like, oh, no, like you need, I just need y'all to be a little bit more alert with your surroundings. You know, and I don't know, because I was like, when when I was watching all the videos, I'm like, all oh, y'all was looking at your phone? In <laughs> New York? Right. In Manhattan? In Manhattan of all places. I don't care what nobody say. I know that Manhattan and Brooklyn and everything is very much gentrified, mm -hmm. but I'll be damned. The goons are still out, though. The only time you might see me looking down at my phone is I'm changing a song Yo. while I'm walking down the block. And I'm not really going to have headphones in like that because no. I need to hear what's, what's going, going on. on. Like, coming from the city, like, I was always told to always be... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Always. 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 And that's just crazy to me to be just like, what are you doing in your phone like this? You walking down yeah. the street like... I don't understand it. I don't get. I don't get that. I don't get it either. I feel sorry that these women had to go through this. One had a big ass lump of her. I mean, head, God, like, big ass. The other one had a nice little shiner. And it's like, what are y'all doing? Yeah. Why are you not paying attention? And why are you not fighting back? Like, why are you not? Because if if uh, I don't, if someone hits me in the face randomly, where I'm chasing, the story's gonna be black woman chasing this man up the street for saying, "Get back here, motherfucker! I'm gonna beat your ass." Because you, because first of all, you know in Manhattan, ain't nobody gonna snitch. They gonna like pe people probably watch that girl get punched and went on about their business. Like, oh, you okay? Yo, well, I got a train to catch. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like, crazy. You can't even identify them because it's child, please. Yeah. I don't understand it, but mm. I mean, mm. I don't know. I guess be safe, Manhattan. I Put your know. phone away. Yeah, it's okay. Put your goddamn phone away. It's okay. Like, just because you're influenced doesn't mean that you need to post the coffee that you're about to order. It's not that serious. It's really not that it's deep. It's never that serious. It's not. So, um, but what is serious mm -hmm. uh, is what happened in Baltimore early this week. Yo. If you have been living under a rock. Oh, my God. Um, but if you are not, you woke up on Tuesday morning to see the Francis Scott Key Bridge suddenly collapse mm -hmm. around 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. Because a boat lost control and hit the bridge and dropped to the not ground, into the water. It looks crazy. It, within... So, do you have a video? Uh, I, I can put video. I'll put video up. I mean, the video doesn't have any sound to it, does yeah, it? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. It literally... Um... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Honestly. I mean... Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say. They are saying that six people are missing and presumed dead. Mm. Um that might be a little different as time goes on, but yeah. the beauty of it is that the ship's crew issued a mayday call moments before the crash took place. So authorities were actually able to mitigate traffic coming on the bridge. Sis and I were watching the video and we literally watched two cars. Literally just make it over. Just make it over the bridge mm -hmm. before it collapsed. And 
I was saying, I said, there is no one in this world that can tell me that God is not real. Because can you imagine driving across that bridge and just by, you know, by curiously looking through your rearview mirror, you're like, hold on a minute. Yeah. And then you turn on the radio. Mm -hmm. No one can tell me that God is not real. I would be home shaking. Do you hear? My hands would be shaking all night. Yeah. I don't even know if I'd be able to drive. Like, I have to pull no. over. Like, I'm oh sorry. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. I probably have to pull over and get out the car. Like, I would literally. That bridge is going. I'm sorry. I would literally be used to probably screaming at the top of my lungs. Like, what? Yeah. yeah. Scary. This is, it's really. So, I want to give y'all some tips because I saw, I've been seeing a lot of videos about, like, how to escape mm -hmm. a car if it is, if it is sinking. Yeah. If you are in a car and it is sinking, you and let's say you have several children in the back. Yeah. First of all, when a car sinks, the head goes first. So think about possibly using that back window to escape. As soon as you hit the water, you need to be rolling the windows down, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to be rolling the windows down. Or if you even think about it, if you're mid-fly, start rolling that window down. You, this is when your flight senses have to start, yeah. your flight or flight senses t uh, take place, right? right? So you need to make sure that window is down. If you've got two kids, the older one should go first, okay? Oh, I just see that. Yes, the older one should go first, the second one goes first, and then you get out the car, Okay. Don't try to break a window. You don't have time for that. You need to make sure your windows are down. You don't have a lot of time. It takes up to a minute for a car to sink. So That's it? That's it. So remember, it takes a minute for a car to sink. If it's sinking, it goes head, head first. So think about using that back window. Think about using that back window. Make sure as soon as you start falling, everybody, you need to tell everybody in the car, unbuckle your seatbelts. Right. Unbuckle your seatbelts. You, you don't have time to cut a seatbelt. You don't have time to break a window. You don't, you literally don't have time. This is a life or death situation. Furthermore, make sure you know how to swim. I can't, I can't, you know, I can't stress this enough. I used to talk about this on the podcast all the yeah. time. It's a dream of mine to have a uh, Olympic size swimming pool in every single hood in America, but that's, that's, what's up. that's a huge dream further down the I line, love that. but you must learn how to swim black people. It's time to give over that trauma. I know we have trauma for the water. You know, your grandma was scared to get in the water. Listen, your grandma not gonna be here too much more longer. You need to learn how to swim. I got family members that don't know how to swim. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'd be like, you know, you, you must learn how to swim. At least know the bare minimum. At least, like, you gotta know something. You gotta like, know. You gotta know how to tread water. You better yeah. know how to float. Something. You oh, must yeah. learn how to swim. Yes. My float game is way off. I could tread water, but mm -hmm. mm. no, I, I, I can, I can swim. But listen, remember, you got a minute left. Car sinks head first. Take off your seatbelt. Go through the back, the back passenger windows. Children, oldest go first, then the next, then the next. <sighs> I know that's, I know that's terrifying to think about. But I mean, at the end of the day, like, who would ever think that that major bridge that I'm pretty? If you ever been to yeah. Baltimore, you've crossed that bridge before. Um, so who would think that that? I mean, it's going to be a lot of productivity that is on pause. Oh, for sure. Um, who who would think that? Who would think that you need these type of life skills? Like, but but swimming, I feel like y'all should know that by now. Well, I mean, they know it, but that doesn't mean that they don't. Yeah, y'all need to get in swimming lessons. You, got, like, you must learn how to swim. Yeah, go somehow, to, go somewhere. to the white side of town. They'll be all right. Right. They'll, They'll be, be just okay. fine. They'll be fine. They'll be just fine. They will be just fine. <sighs> Woo! Well, who won't be fine? Oh shit. <laughs> um. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Is Sean P. Diddy Combs. The diddler. The, d <laughs> the diddler, literally. Literally. Shit is hitting the fan mm -hmm. on high speed. So literally the other day, Homeland Security, not just the FBI, Homeland Security. I didn't even know the Homeland Security could do this. I didn't know. Me neither. This is all news to me. That nigga is a terrorist for real. No, man. Seriously. Homeland Security raided P. Diddy's New York home, New York City home, L.A. home, and Miami. Oh, it was New York? I thought it was just L.A. and Miami. Nope. All three of them. All three of them. Um, actually, don't quote me. It might not have been New York City. Yeah. I'm lying. Okay. Los Angeles and Miami raided his shit over a sex trafficking. Yeah. Yes. Sex trafficking. trafficking. Yeah. Okay. They pulled up to his house like this. Yeah. With the, with the goons out. We saw two of his sons in handcuffs in the backyard. Justin and Christian. Justin and Christian. Yeah, they kept calling him King, and I was like, I thought his name was Christian. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna read this from okay. ABC News. 
Uh, law enforcement uh, law enforcement sources said that while the search warrant is was being executed in Los Angeles, Combs' sons were detained outside the home. Um, other law enforcement sources familiar with the matter said that the searches are being carried out at the hip hop producer's property as search of as part of a federal investigation led by the Southern District of New York into alleged human trafficking. No charges have been filed. OK, uh, in December, a complaint was filed against Combs by a Canadian woman identified only as Jane Doe, who says she was tra sex trafficked, tra what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And gang raped in 20 in 2003 when she was 17 years old and in the 11th grade. Mm -hmm. The lawsuit names Combs, uh, former bad boy president, entertainment president Harvey Pierre, mm -hmm. and an unnamed third defendant and claims Pierre and a third defendant approached the teen at a lounge yes. in Detroit, Michigan, where Pierre allegedly told her he was best friends with Combs and proceeded to call him. Uh, the suit, which contains photos, claims Pierre and the unnamed defendant convinced the teen to take a private jet to Combs Studio in NYC, where she alleges she was piled with drugs and alcohol and gang raped by the three defendants. Yeah, I read that. Um, I read that full, um, what's the name? It's rough. The You read the lawsuit? Yes. Oh, I didn't read it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then they dropped her off back home afterwards. If, yeah. Sick. Sick, 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 sick. Um. So we yeah. must also let you know that uh, Love Love Airlines, whatever it's called, his private jet was uh seen headed to Antigua. Yeah. We are not sure if he is in Antigua or not. Yeah. There has been a clip of him um in the at the walking around at the, at the Miami airport earlier that morning before the flight left mm -hmm. so we're not sure no one ha no one really knows where he is right now mm -hmm. um if he did catch a flight to, to Antigua that means he left his sons at home that's fucked up that's fucked <laughs> you left your kids you left your kids at home you left your or kids not. at like, home but also mm -hmm. so apparently they said like there was absolutely no warning whatsoever that this was about to happen so it very well might have been like, oh, I'm about to go to Antigua, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I I refuse to believe that when you are in that kind of stuff, that there's no one who's going to be like, yo, you need to get out of town. And to be very transparent, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And to be very transparent, well, everything that's going on with Diddy, like, if you had if you had nothing to hide, if none of this was true, I'd be like, look, bring it on. I don't have nothing to hide. I stand true. I stand on that with anybody. If mm -hmm. you didn't do anything wrong, yeah. If you, like for shit like this, what are you? What are you running for? If you have nothing to hide, what are you running for? I don't. This is so sick, bro. Like I think he. I also. He also sold Revolt. Oh, he sold his shares. That's right. So he, he sold his shares. He to Revolt. is no longer co-owner or anything. He has no affiliation mm -hmm. with Revolt TV. Yeah. So Bakarisha really meant something. Like Bakarisha, like just where's she at? Well, she did literally tweeted earlier this week that it's about to, it's finna be a fun summer. She did tweet that. Didn't I tell y'all? I this was probably mm. last season, mm. and I was talking about the city girls. And I said, you notice how they have really been like this. Yeah. My personal belief. I think I know what you got to say. Is that JT saw this coming from a mile away. That's exactly what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I really think JT was like, I've already done my time. Mm, listen, I don't want no parts of it, but if you and Santana mm -hmm. going to be doing this, I'm out. I'm going to do my thing. I personally believe that. I really think, JT was probably like, yeah, it's a yeah. no for me, dog. Yeah. Y'all can be at the Met Gala or mm -hmm. that shit like that. Yep. Meanwhile, sis is dropping mixtapes performing at pool parties mm -hmm. and shit. And I love it for her. Uh, yeah. So I said this. I said this. I was like, ah, something's going on with them. Listen, JT said, I've already did my act up and got snatched okay. up. She said, I've done. Not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. <sighs> Also, apparently his, uh, I think not per, I don't want to say personal assistant, whoever she is, I forget her name. Oh, she, uh, she's coming out. Yeah. Like, she's actually said that she's going to testify against him. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Africa, Ebony, something, something like that. Something, something with an E. Yeah. Ethiopian. E Ethiopia H. I can't think, I don't know how to say Correct. her name. Yes. She, in order for immunity, she is going to 
you know, in, in, um, mm-hmm. in the transition of immunity, she's about to reveal her side of the story as well. Here's my thing, though. Yeah. Here's my thing. Mm-hmm. Everybody has skeletons. Everybody got secrets. Everybody has that shit. I mm-hmm. get that. I feel like, and this is how you know the entertainment industry is cynical. Yeah. Because everybody wants a piece of that, but at what part, mm. at what price, right? Mm-hmm. If you knew that he was doing all this stuff that he's being accused of, why would you continue to work for him? I just, this is my thing. Like, you're willing to sacrifice, because let's, let's think about it. Even if you do mm-hmm. um, testify against him, who's going to work with you? I wouldn't want to work with you at all after this because it you're you were okay with this damn that's real you were you were once okay with this yeah and now when you get caught now you want to snitch yeah i don't know i just that's real but hollywood holly weird they all cool with that kind of shit clearly maybe not everybody see and it's crazy see all the ones that we talk shit about for being mean and da 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 da, mm-hmm. Kanye, Fifty Cent, I know is literally Ooh, he's having a time of his life, laughing straight to mm-hmm. the bank with this, mm-hmm. literally. Um, they've been saying for years. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially Fifty Cent. Fifty oh, was like, yeah, no. Nah, he, he? he called him a fruit pop. I'll never forget. Sure that. Sure did. He called him a fruit pop. But I've also said. I was talking to Simone about I, mm-hmm. I said this years ago. I said I find it odd mm-hmm. that out of I mean, Bad Boy was a ton. Yeah. The only one left standing was Diddy. From Biggie to Mace to Loon mm-hmm. to G Dep Total, all them people. Even Cassie. Yeah. The only one left standing was Diddy. I always I always, in the back of my mind, I always thought that was very odd. Mm. It was, I was like, so that just, I mean, you're talking, Mario Winans, like, they were like, I mean, Danny D. Kane, Day 26, Mm. all these people had stellar careers. They were going up here, and then all of a sudden, they just vanished. Yeah. I know Aubrey O'Dea somewhere, like. Oh, my God. I'm waiting for my apology. I'm just waiting, because she been, she been saying this for, Mm -hmm. it's at least a decade. I don't know. Like we don't we don't really know how like how far Diddy's reach and you know his uh his goons. Yeah. You know, and I mean unfortunately when you have money and power like that, people are willing to overlook those kinds of things even if they're a part of it, even if it's not right. And you know, I mean even like did you read the Cassie lawsuit? Yeah. You think about all them people who was in there, like, you know, helping her recover when he would, you know. Right. I don't know, man. Like, you know? this is weird, I mean, bro. it really comes between, your, you know, money and morale. And it's yeah. like, you know, what what are you willing to deal with for a bag? Which is horrible to me. I want to say... I feel like I I do really feel like the internet needs to be very very careful of like how they tread these next couple of mm-hmm. months. I'm gonna say because mm-hmm. this ain't gonna be over for a while. Yeah. And okay, this is not me defending Meek Mill. Maybe it is because mm-hmm. I'm just kind of like, if I was Meek Mill, and y'all was talking junk the way y'all was talking junk on in the interview, mm-hmm. I would sue all y'all for defamation. Damn. Every single one of y'all, because I think it's very. I think it's. It can cause a lot of damage mm-hmm. if whatever y'all are saying is, you know, accusing him of yeah. is true. And I just, I'm kind of watching how people are just putting people in stuff. You know, projection on the internet is crazy. Like all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, Meek Mill, somebody needs to talk to so-and-so. Somebody need, oh, yeah. we ain't seen so-and-so tweet in a minute. Mm-hmm. What so because you haven't seen them tweet in a minute, that means that they were involved with Diddy's sex capades. Oh because God. Diddy has a downfall now, all of a sudden Jay Z is next. Like that, what? The that's fuck? been that's been the hot topic right now is that Jay Z is next. And, and I'm like, we're, I mean, maybe you do have sources on the inside. I don't know. 
But it'd be like, I mean, if but I, it's weird to be saying that shit out loud. Yeah, because it'd be it just be <laughs> random people. Like, like we don't know who other people know, but I'm right. like, who who are you? And why, why are you saying why this? Why would you say that? Why are you saying oh, this? Because you know Jay Z got another kid. And who said Beyonce don't know that he got another kid? Yeah. <laughs> who said that? I don't know. Like this, it's all been really weird. You know. Yeah, I I just I'm just kind of I just kind of feel like y'all need to be very careful. Mm-hmm. Um. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like I remember like a couple weeks or a couple months ago when Donald Trump or somebody said something about Jimmy Kimmel gonna be is gonna be listed in the Jeffrey Epstein oh shit uh list that we still haven't seen. But anyway. Oh yeah. Wow. And when I say Jimmy Kimmel got on his show mm-hmm. that night and was like, uh, right. who are you talking about? And to me, I was like, salute to like you ain't about to put me in that nonsense right. i ain't had nothing to do with it right so i just kind of feel like y'all just need to be very very careful because at the end of the day these are people in high places mm-hmm. and you don't want to get he- a hit with a cease and assist letter no you do not because you want to go viral oh so i just think that like this is a real investigation these are real people's lives yes i mean diddy if he did all these crimes and he's getting what's coming to him but remember that he has daughters Apparently, his daughters live with uh, Quincy right now. Because Quincy wasn't at the house. That's all I'm saying. Because that's not your dad. But sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not. Okay. And I mean, I see that Justin and Christian were arrested. But that doesn't mean that they had anything. Now, I do know They, Ju- they Justin- were released, too. Yeah. I know Justin was named in a lawsuit. Damn. Yeah. He is, his name was dropped. But that's somebody, like. And let me not say their kids because those two are grown. Hmm. But at the end of the day, I just think that like this is a real case. This is real people's lives that are being affected. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of think that y'all just, I'm not saying give Diddy grace. I'm not saying that at all. I just think that y'all need to be very, very careful. Like with some of the, you know, like all the other people involved. Yeah. I, like I like leave, leave Carisha alone. Yeah, yeah. The fact that people have been like, "Where you at, Carisha?" I'm like, "She probably ain't hiding." What you mean? Yeah, like if she is, eventually that will come out. But you know, I just think Girl, I need to this be has been. Careful. I just know this is this has been a mess. And like I said last week about with uh, uh, not uh, Dan Schneider and all that. And the, by the way, there's gonna be another episode. Yeah, for, I told you. Um, again with this weird se- y'all Hollywood with the sexual deviant shit is really weird. Yeah, Y'all keep odd. making it weird. And now now they're like, it's, it's this massive sex trafficking. They're saying that Diddy's a part of this big sex trafficking ring. I'm like, okay. Who else is in the ring? Who else is in the ring? And then we're talking about like how Atlanta is a really big hub. Like, is he involved in that kind of? Like, what is this? Like, is this, is it so big that, because listen, if Homeland Security is pulling up to your house, Homeland. By the way, there's footage out right now where you can see what the inside of his house looks like now that ransacked. they have ra- ransacked. But if Homeland Security is pulling up to your house like that, then that makes me think that this shit is big, big. And so, is he a part of a lot of black girls who have been gone missing? Oh, that's shit, what I'm thinking sis. in my head. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Damn. Um, Homeland Security. You know how much music we about to lose. He's a terroristic threat to black he's, women. He's a terrorist. Oh my god. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, I told says I said between that and the Baltimore, when I woke up and saw mm-hmm. the Baltimore Bridge collab. Yo, I literally started praying. I said, first of all, it's Holy Week. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. She been tweeting Hosanna since Sunday. Cause okay, listen, everybody that knows me knows Easter is it's my favorite favorite time saying. of the year. When I say I was waving them palms in church, I <laughs> love Easter. I just love that's one of my favorite stories. Okay, talk about the greatest comeback story ever told. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're annoying but you're not wrong <laughs> don't play with him anyways oh. um and i literally just had to break it i was like i don't really like what's going on there no, is there is a spirit and i don't like it stuff is moving you hear me literally okay bridges tumbling bridges tumbling sex traffic rings being discovered 
By your favorite hip hop artist. By your fa- That's what I, was, I literally, y'all know I love the music. In my mind, I'm like, so all the music about to be taken off. Like, that's literally what I was thinking. I was like, you're talking. But me- listen, double whammy, because we got to listen to it. How else he going to pay for all the people who about to sue him? This is the same way with the R. Kelly music. How else them victims going to get paid? My God. You kind of have to listen to the music. Crazy. Double whammy. Double homicide as that girl that said. That is craziness. I don't, listen. It's a circle. It is a circle. I don't like it. And we'll probably be talking about this for the rest of the season. Cause yeah. That's good. Clearly there's going to be a lot. It's, it's going to be, be a lot. a lot going on. But yeah. The producer, Rodney. Mm, Lil Rod. Yeah. Apparently he just, at, not apparently, reportedly, mm-hmm. uh, he added Cuba, Cuba Gooding, Gooding Jr. Jr. Mm-mm. I don't have time for this. We got to go to the next topic. Anyways. Because, <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. No. Mm. On a lighter note. Yes. Two other things. Yes. McDonald's is going to be selling Krispy Kremes. Diabetes is back, baby. Okay. Diabetes is back. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes. I'm just. Why? Krispy Kreme nor Dunkin' Donuts needed this. No one was like, you know what I need? Yeah. You know what I need? Yeah. I need a Big Mac in between two hot donuts. I don't understand. First of all, the the first issue is that Krispy Kreme is disgusting. Okay. Can we talk about it? Let's talk about it. Listen, you're talking to a New York and Philadelphia native, okay? Right. We don't know what... We don't want to see Krispy Kremes. If it's not Dunkin', we don't want it. America runs on Dunkin'. Literally. Literally. I don't, when, I first, when I first had Krispy Kremes, I, I, I was like, I want everybody fucking arrested immediately. I have n- they, mm-hmm. they look like holes with snot on them. I just... And why are they so goddamn... That's the real diabetes. No, seriously. It's, it's, that's a, di- that, a diabetes donut. Literally, it's diabetes in solid form. Why is it so sweet? And then y'all are sick. You know why you're sick? Because you're eating them hot. And that's yeah, yo, what, disgusting. Yo. Prison time. Why you are you eating just, hot donuts? You Fight need, us. You need to go to fucking jail. Like, why are you eating hot donuts? That, are you sick? That is disgusting. You're, you're sick. Hot donut? And I will die on that hill. Oh, same. You hear me? I'm willing to go to war about it, I, actually. I'm actually willing to go to war about it. No, seriously. Because, like, <laughs> you will never catch me. I, it is Dunkin' all day. I will. I literally run to Dunkin'. Do you understand? Literally. Krispy Kreme is disgusting. not it. That, that's, why you don't have, that, that's why you don't have that many up north, because this shit's nasty. And you barely have that many down. I mean, there's, like, one in the whole city down here. The only one that I know of. But I can tell you where all the Dunkins are in the city, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's one right around my house. I'm like, well, man, I'm like, man, okay, I mean, literally. Dunkin' Donut today. You, okay, Krispy you got to Google what a, what a Krispy Kreme's is at. Yeah. So, McDonald's, I want better for you. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I just, who asked for this? If you're running out of ideas, I, I don't know who to call, but Why Krispy don't... Kreme's is not it. It ain't. Call Ghostbusters before you did that. Like, I don't get it. Why would you, why do they even need this to happen? Y'all already sell, like, I mean, I just had ice cream from McDonald's. Yeah, all they wanted was the McFlurry machine uh, fix. And, like, you (laughs) added, that's not what they asked for. Nobody asked for donuts. Nobody, nobody's in the drive-thru at McDonald's like, you know what? Right. I wish they sold donuts here. That's because they don't put enough Krispy Kremes around. So they got a McDonald's on every damn corner. But you might, that might be why. You feel me? Yeah. Are they going to be selling the hot? You gonna go? God. And Can you imagine walking into a McDonald's and smelling that nasty ass? Hot? I would be so confused. What is going on? Like, what are we selling here? You pulled up to the McDonald's, they got the hot sign on. Ew! <laughs> that'd be hot fries. That's all I want. Y'all need to go to jail. I don't like Who it. Who the hell came up sick? I don't like it. Sick, and I hate it. Yeah, I don't know who on the marketing team thought that was cool, but F. we don't. Yeah, don't do it. So, and last, um. Yeah, your podcast is about to be divided right now. Yeah. Yeah, your favorite podcast is about to be divided because uh, Kung Fu Kenny is back. The only rapper with a Pulitzer. Uh, I'm sorry. Does your beloved uh, Cole, does he have a? No. Oh, okay. But he doesn't need one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think he could, he could use one. Oh. <laughs> 
hier. <lacht> so. <lacht> so. <lacht> I'm not gonna allow you to talk about your man like this. He did nothing to you. Hell, he did nothing to Ken ah, Kendrick. He did it. Like, goddamn. So if you don't know, Future Metro Boomin um, released a joint album this past week. Mm -hmm. And apparently it's like a, a diss to, to Drake. To Drake. And um, there's a song on there called Like That that features Kendrick Lamar. And Kendrick Lamar uh, basically, you know, shouted J. Cole and Drake out on the song, said, it ain't no top three, it's just top me. Um, we can't play it on the air, Sherelle. We can't? No, we're going to get censored. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Copyright. Because, you know, I was really trying to pull I know. it up. Like, I was like... So, um, it's been it's been very interesting. Um, I didn't realize that Kendrick had beef with Drake, though. That was new to me. Let me tell you something. Apparently, everybody has beef with Drake. I saw a video there on YouTube. I'm like, damn. Everybody got beef with Drake, and Me too. Put I, me in line. I, I be, okay. <laughs> Yo, I'm pulling my sleeves up. Put me in line. I'm really, I'm gonna be honest. I'm really hoping that Drake doesn't get caught up in some other stuff because oh, I'm like, yeah. what, what is going on? Why is everybody like suddenly anti Drake, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, like as a as the president of uh, the J Cole Club, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, wow, like what's that about? Like that was random. Very random. You know, I felt like J Cole has always been like, you know, always oh, me. Kenny and Drake, like we out here, we the big three. Mm -hmm. And Kenny was like, who said that? Like, mm -hmm. unnecessary. Right. That's that Compton shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just C O N P T O N. Uh, uh, uh. West side, West side. Anyway, listen, like, I don't think it's, I don't think in terms of like J. Cole, I don't think it's a personal thing. Like, we I, taking it personally. If he had a Pulitzer, you wouldn't. So He's too busy putting money into the city with uh, a black curated festival every year. What is Ken, What is Kendrick doing? Why, but why are you hating like Putting this? money in his pocket. He's not doing anything. Is he is, doing anything? Why are you hating so hard? I'm not. I'm just saying. You, you, you seem very It's defensive. economic value you seem very, that Jermaine Cole is bringing to you seem not only his city, defensive his right state. Now. And he also saves the environment You're because seeing, he rides a bike. Okay? That's the white side of him. No, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I really be like, that's the white. Please stop acting like you don't have a car. Stop! Don't do this, though. Like you get in the car. Even if you got a Prius, it's okay. That's like the don't... white. That's the white in him coming out. His mama is white. But listen, I just saw a, a video. Mom, mom, you calling me? The podcast is recording. Hey, Miss Seventy. I'll call it afterwards. Um, I just saw a billboard that said hip hop is a competitive sport, and like, mm. I mean, you know, beef keeps it healthy. I think it keeps it fun. So I, I agree. Yeah. I just feel bad for Big Sean. Why? So, I don't know. Maybe I really think Kendrick just doesn't like Big Sean either because every time Big Sean is getting ready to put something out, yeah. here comes Kendrick Lamar. Oh. Just like what he did to his own song, mm. Control. Remember that song? Yeah. Like, what was that about? I, don't, I mean, I, I just always imagine Big Sean in the studio like, really, nigga? Like, you had to go that hard on my own track? So then, you know, you know, Big Sean's been MIA for a while. He's been yeah, dealing yeah. with, you know, he's a father now. Oh, just kind of, yeah. Him and Janae Aiko had a baby. Oh, okay. And you know, just Big Sean's just been doing him, whatever. Yeah. And he finally decided to get back into the world. And on the day he's about to drop a new song, here comes Kamvu Kenny kicking ass, unprovoked, such a thug. I love it. What's you up? know? And I'm like, yo, what's up? What's going on? Thing. I don't know what it is about hip hop and Big Sean. Even yesterday was his, you know, on Monday was his birthday, mm -hmm. and we dealing with the diddler. Like, yo, let, give my man, <laughs> give my man, give my man his shine. Poor Big Sean. And I listen. I love. He's good looking. I love. I don't Big know. Sean. I don't know. How I feel about him as a rapper. I've never listened to like any of his albums or anything like that. Yes, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna front. Like, is he top ten? Mm -hmm. To me, no, but I think if you really like listen to him, it's like, all mm -hmm. right, he be dropping some bars every now and then. Okay. But, you know, there was just no need for Kendrick Lamar to attack J. Cole. I mean, you attack Drake. I still like Drake. Still? Yes. Oh. I don't, I don't mind Drake. I did have to unfollow him after he literally wrung out his shirt um, on Instagram from like all the sweat on stage. I just thought that was disgusting. So I had to unfollow him for that. But um, yeah, it was like, okay. You know, but it, you know, like, but don't attack Jermaine. Like, I feel like Jermaine is like. It's going to be a nice, healthy beef. You know, it's going to be fun. Listen. Not, probably not fun for Drake, but who cares? I'm just trying to, like, 
I'm just I just want to be prepared because I'm going to Dreamville Fest and I don't want no issues. Yeah, like, you're not you're gonna you're gonna be fine. I don't want no issues. <gasps> what if this is like? What if Kendrick pulls up? To I'm dream? gonna be sick because you know I love him. He don't show up nowhere though. He really don't be popping up. Like this is how you know Kendrick is one of the greatest. Now, don't get it twisted. I love Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with that man. Clearly, I don't want no problem with mm -hmm. that man, all right? Um, <laughs> okay? Uh, but this is why he's one of the greatest. Mm -hmm. What rapper do you know that can just drop a feature? It's not even his song. It's not even his song. He dropped one verse and then just went on about his business. It wasn't even that long of a verse either. 30 seconds. You're talking about eight bars, maybe. And the whole whole hip hop universe was shook. We could talk about it for days. For days. days. Okay. <laughs> for days. Kendrick Lamar, in my opinion, is the Beyonce of hip hop. Oh, absolutely he is. Like, only he dropped that album. Yeah. And then he went on tour, and then he went back with his wife and his kids. I love it. I just... So I give him credit for that. I'm like, wow. Love it. You know what? Touche, sir. Touche. It. Now, J. Cole, we're waiting on the fall off. Dreamville Fest is next week. What we doing? What's the fall off? That's his new album that's supposed to be coming oh. out soon. He has been dropping a few songs. It's supposed to be coming out before the uh... I'm. I was hoping so, oh, okay. you know. Yeah. So I could be like, ah, because you know, that's my man. Mm -hmm. But like, what we doing here? He has been dropping little subtle hints every now and then of a couple of bars. You know, him and his Crocs. And Damn, still, he's still committed to that too, huh? Yeah. It's really the white side of him. I don't know what's going on. You know what? Comfortability. Comfortability. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. But, you know, I feel like if now, now is the time. Mm -hmm. Drop it. Oh, Beyonce drops on Friday, though. Oh, damn. And it's Easter. I think he'll be fine. It's country and then it's hip hop. Beyonce dropping on Good Friday? Oh, wow. It's kind of rude. But, um, hmm. Yeah. I don't like that. Anyways. She does what she wants. Clearly. She well, does. Um, we love Kendrick. We love I love Cole. I love J. Cole too. I love you the have to. I, I love the album before the first, the last one. Oh. I didn't like the last album. But I also didn't like Kendrick's last album either. Yeah, same. I can say I can say that as a fan, right? Like I be like That's how you know you are a real fan. Yeah, like people like, were like, that shit was fired. I'm like, like no, no, it wasn't. wasn't. No, it wasn't. I can't wait for Izzy to get his ass back in the studio. Yeah, like let's get back get to his... the pimp a butterf to pimp a butterfly damn, damn days. Yeah, you let's know get back saying? to that. Yeah, because that morale. No, you know, that wasn't it. Stop putting rapists on your albums too. But anyway, oh yeah, well that is you know I'm with you when you're right. Yeah, like, we didn't need we didn't need Kodak. Yeah, we didn't. Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's it. And guess what? <gasps> We have a review. Hey, gang, gang. Um, Sorry. now listen, I can't say your name. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, I, are you okay? What you got going on? All right, okay. What you got going you on? You know your name. Yeah. You know your name. You. Uh, but you gave us five stars. <laughs> okay, but I mean, I don't know what's going on with that name. Yeah. The title says, You Got Me, Gal. Gal. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I wasn't too sure at first. A little rough around the edges, but you two have definitely kicked and scratched your way and cemented your place <laughs> in this vast landscape of podcasts. I love it. I enjoy your takes on subjects. We don't always agree, but the work you ladies have put into informing while also entertaining has become one of my go-tos every week. I definitely felt gaslit into making this, but I love the genuine happiness well, you exude when you get an honest five-star review. So here you go. You happy now? Yes! <laughs> About time. Yes. We only eight episodes into the season. We love this for you. Yeah. So thank you. I'm going to leave your name as blank. Okay. Yeah. You, you know who you are. You know who you are. All right. So. All right. That's what's up. Th thank you very much I for this. I love that. I love that. Yes. That's what's up. I appreciate that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now the rest of you. Oh. Because we're still only eight episodes into the season. We only got one review. And while I appreciate blank, the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> The rest of you, mm -hmm. highly disappointed. Highly disappointed. Well, we're just going to continue to guess like, oh, you, like we did yeah. blank. Absolutely. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. I think the, the best thing that you can do for us for Easter yeah. is leave us a review. Yeah. Okay. Don't have me going to Dreamville Fest and not seeing another review. That's this, not going to work. That's disgusting. Because I don't know who's going to be there. What if J. Cole wants to see my phone and was like, oh, you got a podcast. Yeah. Like, I need him to know what's going on. Right. And you all haven't left any reviews. Right. Wow. No five-star reviews. What if I bump into, uh, I don't know who else going to be. Oh, Schoolboy Q. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Wow. He could school me. Okay. 
Anyway, that's all, that's yeah. it for this week's episode. Get married. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can school me, schoolboy Q. Damn, hot for teacher. Okay, all right, <laughs> that's enough. Please be sure to follow us on all of our social media. Oh, oh. We're, on, we're on Twitter at Head Rap Pod. We're on Instagram at Head Raps and Lips. Check out our Facebook page, Head Raps and Lips is the podcast. Mm-hmm. Go to our website, www.headrapsandlips.com, where we have crewnecks and t shirts that are for sale but not on sale. Mm-hmm. Remember, you could be like blank. You leave a five-star review, we read it on the air, but you haven't done that. Blank has, but you have not. Wow. 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 Exactly. Um, mm. But if you had, we would have read it on the air. Lastly, please Damn. follow us on all of the thingies. We are on Spotify, SoundCloud, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. And the cash app is dollar sign Pod. Yeah. Yeah. And we've checked it. We've, we've checked it. We have. Yeah. Know that. Exactly. All right, sis. <sighs> What's your joke? This is funny. Okay. I've been screen I screenshot this a week ago. It's hilarious. Wow. Why is the mushroom always invited to parties? Because it has a wide top. No. Oh, I don't know. Because he's a fun guy. Oh. <laughs> Get I feel it? like I've heard that one before. Get it? Yeah, I got it. Get it, fun guy. Yep. So <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yo, I told my pastor a joke on Sunday. Yeah. The joke was, what do you call a marathon for pastors? What? Rev run. Why he started laughing and then pray for me. Like, exactly. He, laughed, he was like, Father God. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Somebody needs to, but these jokes are terrible. <laughs> Horrendous. <laughs> Look at her, yo. Oh, God, this is funny. We'll see y'all next week. I got another one next week. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was so funny. Was it?